everyone. We're back again on a beautiful sunny Tuesday. Um, this week I have a nice message. As you can see, it's two sides. And it is, you may think that you don't matter in this world, but because of you, someone now likes themselves a little bit more because you made a comment that made them feel good about themselves. Someone has read a book you recommended and they loved it. Someone has a, remembered a joke you told them that made them laugh. Someone has tried on an outfit and felt beautiful because you complimented them on it. Never think that you don't have an impact. Your fingerprints cannot be wiped away from the little marks of kindness you have left on the world. So remember, again, like the rabbi and I always say, be kind, be thoughtful, and be caring. Stop complaining and just try and do good and be wonderful and love each other. And see you next week. And not to forget, here's the rabbi. Uh, shalom. Nice shalom. to, uh, hello, and nice to be able to be here again, speak on the parasha of the week. This parasha is Shofetim Veshotarim. Titel Lecha Bechol Shearecha. The Torah begins by instruct, instructing. Moshe Rabbeinu instructed the Jewish people, he said, you are going to uh, establish uh, shofetim, judges, and also police in all your gates. I think I remember last year I uh, commented on that subject itself. So I'm going to digress from there and Nobody going to another, to another subject, which is very interesting in the Torah. It tells us um, and uh, in, uh, in a case where the people of Israel are going to go to battle, to war. And it begins, the Torah tells us like this, uh, He said, Always God is going to be with you. It's going to fight your battles. But you know, when you're going, when you go to battle against your enemy, then you should not be afraid of your enemy. God is going to fight your battles. But he said, the, uh, the officers are going to speak to the people of Israel, and they are going to say this, before they are all conscripted to uh, to the to the war, he said there are a few people who are going to be exempt. Who? It begin by saying if you build the house, a new house, but you haven't lived in it, you know you built it but you have not dedicated it. He said he better stay at home and go and 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 live in it because he might die in the battle and somebody else will come and live in it instead. This is a consideration for exemption of, of the service to go to war with all the other brothers and sisters, those who are going to battle. And then the carry on and the office of the um, and then he, he goes and he, and he said, there is another one who is exempt, me, Aish, here, many pages, I'm sorry that, um, you know what they do? The finger, now. Um, never mind, the other one. <laughs> <laughs> the other one is the Torah says, um, might be that somebody um, got engaged, you know? He uh, just had a, compromise with somebody and he has not married her yet. But he said, he's going to go to the war. The Torah said, he better stay at home and marry this woman because he might die in the war and somebody else will come and marry her. This is a consideration of the Torah. And then there is another one that the Torah mentioned that is exempt. That is, if a person, uh, plant a vineyard and he hasn't he, he hasn't really 
Benefited. benefited from the crops, from the first crop at yeah, all. He said he can stay with in his vineyard, and he said he shouldn't go to war because just in case he died in the war, somebody else is gonna benefit and reap the fruit from all his labor. It's, it's so interesting. And then the last moment, he said, "We are sefua shoterim ledaber elam." They are going to add. One extra personality that is going to be exempt. He said, if somebody feels afraid, somebody has got ha, has got the, has got nerves, he cannot go to the war. He said that person, of course, should not go to the war because the influence of a person who is cowardly, who is who, who is really cannot take it to be able to go to war, definitely he ca he cannot. He cannot uh, make all the others being afraid of going to war. That's a bad influence. He said, that person should not go. Rashi comes and he said, what I mean, somebody who is fearful, who, is, who, who, who has got a, a faint heart, that means he cannot take it. Who is that? What do you mean that that is fearful? He said, "Ayare me have a He said, "What he did? the Torah that is not talking about somebody who is fearful simply because he cannot see blood. He's talking about somebody who is afraid of the fact that he's a sinner. He feels that he might not be worthy to be saved in the war because of his sins, and therefore, because he's afraid, the Torah says he is exempt. He should not go. Not just because he can, he's going to influence with a cowardliness to the other." He, or of his friend to go to war. Simply, he is afraid of his sins. It's very interesting, and our rabbi say, you know what? Think about it, that why there are so many who are exempt? He said, all of them, all the other, the one who with, with planted the vineyard, the one with, uh, who uh, got engaged, and the other one with, uh, who, who, who built a, a new house, he said, all of them are exempt because of this one. Not to embarrass this one that because if the Torah would not exempt all the other and somebody feel afraid that he doesn't go, everybody would know, would know publicly that he is a sinner and he is a sinner and not worthy even to be saved. The fact that, that he publicly will be known that he is a sinner, he said to, to save the embarrassment, the Torah exempt other people as well so that if Somebody, he doesn't want to go to war. He cannot, he feels that he cannot go to war. They might think, oh, perhaps he built a house, perhaps he got engaged, or perhaps he planted a vineyard. And that, can you imagine how sensitive the Torah is about even somebody who is a sinner that might not be worthy? It is so important, the lesson of the Torah, to telling us whatever you do in your life, Make sure that you do it elegantly, nicely, without embarrassing anybody else. Mm -hmm. And especially somebody else who is not even a sinner that doesn't deserve to be embarrassed. Don't ever do anything to embarrass anybody else. And I think that this, this speaks volume as to how our attitude has to be towards everybody else, toward everything that we do that has to be uh, in, a, in a sense is, is, uh, in a sense that you bring credit to people instead of embarrassing them. In spe spe especially we're talking about, don't speak la sonara, don't speak evil, uh, you know, evil gossip or anything about anybody else, that you are end up embarrassing somebody. And so therefore, it, the lesson of the Torah is be kind, be nice, be gentle, be a, a person, be a Ben Adam Lee, as we say in, in, in our synagogue, be a, a human being, be a mensch. And so, therefore, Shabbat Shalom, all the very best.